So guys, looks like we've got ourselves a table today. So to save us time, I've went ahead and already cleaned it and sanded it down. We can hop right into showing you guys how to restore and repurpose it. So we're going to use our typical Zinser primer, give the whole thing a nice solid coat. Go from there. All right, guys, we're back. We got our primer on our table here, nice and cured up. We can go ahead and start layering it up. So what uh, we got going on here, let me pull this off a little. Show you guys what we got going on. I don't look at my shirt, you guys are probably like, oh, Tony, you know the paint goes on the furniture, right? Not on your clothes? So we got the re-tiered system we're gonna use on this here. We're gonna put chalk paint on it. Uh, chalk's really cool to use. I really, really like the way chalk looks. It's got like a real rustic-y barn house feel. So step one, we're gonna go with like an aged gray look. And we're gonna go ahead and use the smoke glaze and lightly apply it as the second coat. And then for our third layer, we're gonna use the, uh, the matte clear protective top coat. Definitely gonna cake that on there because it is a table and uh, it'll probably get some heavy usage. So we wanna make sure the layer of that that we apply is real thick to, to protect it from scratches and stuff like that. So we may go two or three coats of this depending on, uh, on how well it takes. So yeah, we're gonna get started doing that. And All right, guys, so as you're doing this, you're gonna want to, uh, anything you're refinishing tables and stuff, you wanna make sure you flip it over so you can get in underneath in the bottom, all the places where you don't normally see. You wanna make sure to touch everything up where you can. Um, there's always a little nook or a little cranny that needs to be filled, you know? This is uh, something if I can do, you guys can easily do. Uh, you get a free, beautiful, solid wood table like this, and yeah, put a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears, a little sanding, painting, staining going on, and we can uh, make this thing last another 20 years. All right, so for this step, after our chalk is completely cured, we're gonna go ahead and add the decorative smoke glaze. So it's gonna look really cool. We're gonna need a foam applicator, as well as a sock. What we're going to do is just apply it really lightly and then we're going to slowly distress it with the sock and make as straight a line as possible. We're not going to cover it because we do see, want to see some of that gray bleed through, but uh, the finished product looks really, really cool. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that now. When you're doing this, just go as slow as possible because you don't really want to, uh, to spill and you don't want it to blot. You just kind of want to drag it evenly. So our uh, time lapse didn't work, but um, the key here is just keeping your straight lines and you apply with your foam and then wash with your hand. And then really lightly distress it. And then this is what the finished product looks like. So it just looks good, streaked over, very distressed wood look. Last step here is going to be adding that matte clear. This stuff is fantastic. It'll seal that table right up, applies extra protection, and allows it to uh, stay strong for long. And we got these felt pads as well. We're going to go ahead and add them to the bottom of our stand so it doesn't scratch up its future owner's floor. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. All right, so I'm actually gonna go from the other side now so you guys can see me doing it since the uh, past couple of times I really haven't been thinking it through. We're new to this, sorry about that. <laughs> you guys can watch me go ahead and apply the matte seal, clear. All right, guys, here we are with our finished product. Uh, we took our table all the way from nothing to something. We got a really nice color coming through. The glaze went on really nicely. The bottom looks great as well. It's perfect for somebody who's in a small apartment and watch uh, you know, fashionable shabby sheet table. Looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it came out. So yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on this restoration here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thanks.